Welcome back again. Oh, that was a bit hard work, that was. Anyway, I didn't film it, but I've got the inflatable in the back of the car. In the car, car, inflatable, together, back, off down to the harbour, down to Wells. Um, we're going to pump this thing up and just see if it floats in the water. Might not be able to do that today because it's low water, I think. I didn't check the tides, did I? No. But anyway, we're going to get it down there. Once it's down there, it's going to be easier. So it's off down there. So off we go. Uh, down to Wales. And it's a beautiful It's Good Friday, by the way. So Easter. Off we go. Right, so uh, you join me in the car as I'm driving and uh, we're just going down into Wales itself and this is such a, a lovely trip in, I thought I'd let you join me. Uh, so we're just uh, coming down, this is the uh, the main entrance or the main road into Wales next to the sea and as you can see in front of us there's the sea. Unfortunately today uh, the tide is out uh, but there you go, that's uh, that's the area there. We have to turn right here uh, to get down to the harbour or to the hard where I keep my boat. Uh, so you, you you come along here. There we go. And uh, I can just show you there what it's like along here. As you can see, the water does go out an absolute mile. But the beauty of it is is that you can actually walk across. You, you you can actually walk across the water and get to the outer harbour bit there, or what well, the outer harbour's a bit. Anyway, these are all the old fishermen cottages and everything. There used to be, uh, apparently, I was re reading up in one of the history books, uh, the, the railway used to come along here uh, in the good old days. Yeah, the railway. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, until Mr. Beechin, uh, in, I think it's 1963, decided to, uh, to uh, Cut all the close all the railways down. So there you go. There's the uh, the harbour there, which uh, is quite nice. Loads of boat, boat, boats moored there. As you say, you can keep a boat here. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you know it's not it's not that expensive. A lot cheaper than what I thought it was going to be. Sailing club was to the right. There's some old uh, fishing boats there and bits and pieces. Anyway, we come down here. Oh, by the way, this is this is an active fishing port as well. Lots of lobsters pots and fishing. As you can see, the the lobster pots are there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we have to go down here, and this is the old sort of fisherman hut area. I don't know how long it's been like this for years and years and years. This has been like this. Uh, Unfortunately, the road isn't of the best condition, but this is actually part of the, the reason there's always people walking along here is this is part of the North Norfolk uh, Way, which is a, fo uh, a footpath that runs all the way from Cromer all the way round to Hun Stanton along the coast. I think it's about 45 miles in length. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I will do though, one day. I shall get off my backside and, and walk that. Anyway, this is, uh, now we're now coming up to, to where I keep my boat. Uh, oh, it's all locked up today, but luckily, luckily the harbour master gave me the uh, the number for the lock so I can get in and out, which is, oh, as a matter of fact, it's, it's quite good. He's left, he's left uh, the big gate open because I've got the boat in the back. I'm going to, uh, uh, drive in. I don't normally drive in. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, take long to drive in. Uh, close the gate behind me. Don't want anybody. You're going to do the gate for me. Thank you, young man. Now, see there you go. Everybody in Norfolk is polite and nice and helpful. Yeah, that young man said, "I'll close the gate for you with his doggy woggy." Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, here we are. This is the uh, the yard. Uh, what can we show you in here? I might take, I might go for a walk around later with the camera and, uh, and show you what we've got here. 
loads and loads of boats, a couple of cranes. There's a boat there waiting, waiting to go in. It'll be going in on the next high water. Now, unfortunately, my boat is right at the back up here. So what I'm going to do is come along here to here, and uh, then I can unload it. I hopefully, or well, yeah, unload the inflatable, and then I can keep it here for a while, can't I? Anyway, uh, get back to you. Right. Oh. Well, that's absolutely knackered me. I've just done one, two sides, just got to do the front, and it's all pumped up. I'll tell you what, what's on the Christmas list this year is an electric pump for the inflatable. Good. It takes absolutely ages. Yeah. Uh, even though I've got one of these super duper two way pumps, which pumps it both ways, still takes me ages to pump up. Anyway, here we go. Oh. Not moving an inch, is it? It takes about 40. So uh, we'll just keep going, shall we? Let me switch you off. You don't want to watch me do that, do you? That'd be boring, wouldn't it? Absolutely boring. Righty-o then. There we go. Didn't take too long. I'm absolutely knackered. But as I say, we will put on our Christmas list a, uh, a uh, electric pump, I think, don't you? Let's see if you can charge it up from a USB. Anyway, here it is, it's all inflated. So we're now gonna just go and stow this up by the boat. And then hopefully next time we've got a nice tide because it's low water at the moment, as you saw when we came in. So next time we've got a bit of high water, or a bit of water there, we'll take it out and see how many leaks. I won't say if it's got a leak because it will have a leak because I fixed it and you know my reputation with leaks. But how many leaks will it have? Uh, maybe a couple. Maybe I'll get a baler. That's what we need. We need a bike. <laughs> I could actually put a bilge pump on it, could I? <laughs> no, no. You're being silly now, Ted. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, we're going to go and fit the pram hood, as I said to you earlier on. Uh, it's nearly 95% finished now. So that'd be good, wouldn't it? We'll have a look at that. See you in a minute. Oh, dear me. I'm too old for this game. I really am too old for this game. Yeah. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, careful, look at that. Can't even stand, in on, stand on it when it's on land. Of course, I thought it be like when I'm at sea. Right, we're just going to finish this bitty video off. As I say, it's a bit if and but. You've just watched me pump the boat up. Anyway, the greatest bit of news. And this is, you know, the leak has gone. Yep. We had a cracking storm yesterday, and uh, I've come down to the boat, checked the skylight, no water. It's leak-free. So, John, who suggested using CTI or CT1, thank you very much. Absolutely brilliant. What a cracking idea that was. So that's done. Right, uh, the other job that we've been doing, as, as you know, it's been an ongoing job, has been the pram hood. Here it is. Oh, 95% finished. Really pleased with it. Sewing, not the best sewing in the world, to be honest with you. Three needles I broke, loads of cotton. The wife threatened to throw me out, ban me. Well, but we just carried on, took the flat. We got there in the end. So we've done the, we've got this. We've just got to put a couple of clips on it, two more clips on it, and it's done. And we've got that done. So I tell you what, I'm just amazed. I am really, really amazed what this silly old sod can do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what are we going to do now? Well, as you know, I've just blown the uh, the dinghy up, the inflatable dinghy up. That's sat there now. It's down here at the dock at, at the hard. Uh, unfortunately, I can't put it in the water today because uh, it's late afternoon. It's low water. So hopefully tomorrow, if, the, if there's no wind and the tides are a better time during the day, I'm going to put it in the water and check for leaks. So that's that's the next job. I will film it live so you will know whether uh, it's been successful or not successful. Uh, but then, as uh, George just said, guy's got the boat here. Poor guy here uh, uh, having his cutlass bearing done. Whatever that is, I don't know. It sounds rather complicated. Cutlass bearing. Cutlass. Not cut. cut oh, no, 
Is that cut? The, I don't know. Anyway, he's, he's having that done because he wants to take his boat back up to Scotland from where he's from. It, costs him, it takes him six and a half hours to get it. Six and a half hours to get to it. But he's, he's down, here, down here with his good lady. Come down for the weekend for Easter to work on his boat, which is absolutely brilliant. So uh, good luck to him. Uh, and uh, we're hopefully going to mess around with that. I've got the seagull at home and I start that up every two to three hours just to make sure that... I think it's a bit like that old Vespa scooter ride many years ago in the 60s. That you had to know how to tickle it to get started. So I think it, yeah, it's petrol on, choke full on, 10 tickles and it starts. Uh, so we're just checking that. So we'll hopefully bring that down tomorrow. And then you can see me going around the harbour. Uh, I'll video it and show you what a wonderful place this is. Absolutely stunning. Anyway. That's about it. See, oh, it's such a shame. It's now five o'clock. Clocks go forward, spring forward, fall back. Yeah, spring forward. Clocks go forward tomorrow or tonight. So I lose an hour's sleep. So never mind. Uh, we can live with that, can't we? Yeah, so we lose an hour's sleep. So we'll be back down here tomorrow. As long as it's this beautiful sunshine. This has been the best day of the year without the shadow of a doubt. Anyway, just like to thank you. Uh, Getting a few more negative comments on the way I do my YouTube channel. To be honest with you, Daddy, who gives a shit to be honest with you? At my age, am I going to take, oh dear, am I going to take any criticism from somebody? No, no I'm not. I'll do it my way. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. There's loads of other channels to go and watch. Go and watch them. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of getting a blow-up girl in a bikini, because apparently I should get more followers if I do that. <laughs> I'm not that desperate, I can assure you. Anyway, it'd be lovely to speak to you all again. Have a wonderful time. You look after yourself, be good, be happy. Don't forget, most of all, <gasps> look after those animals.